dad was saying uh, you'll be getting a 2 LLB a job they started the journey with the basic uh, uh, javascript html uh, uh, sprints everything is user experience it doesn't matter if it's offline or online hi everyone i am abhinesh kaur i am from hyderabad i have graduated uh, in 2022 with a degree in mechanical engineering so uh, after my graduation uh, i thought of like i i really wanted to get a job in uh, it so i tried myself but i couldn't get any offer off campus what kind of doubts you had that that ad was saying uh, you'll be getting a 12 lp a job uh, is it real that i'm going to get a job uh, with 12 lp i said it told yes yes if you work hard you will <laughs> and then i started my journey in april 2023 actually i really wanted to do a computer science uh, related job only but the thing is uh, i messed up mset options like i have to select the colleges uh, after getting the rank so i didn't have any support or any seniors uh, who who guided me through that process so i missed that and i got a college uh, Uh, from mechanical uh, department and then uh, uh, i told this to my father and uh, my father was like uh, you, you don't care about your department you can get into any stream after your degree it's mm-hmm. just that you it's just that you should have something engineering degree and then you can transition transition into any career path uh, you can choose after your four years i was like i i always wanted to do something creative so mm-hmm. uh like it doesn't matter if it's full stack development like i find creativity in every aspect uh, okay. of the thing so uh, while i was doing the graphic design stuff a uh, ui ux caught my eye and i thought if like everything is user experience it doesn't matter if it's offline or online so yeah. uh, i i i used to watch videos on youtube i used to take courses on udemy i used to design uh, the website like even the full stack uh, uh, projects which i make like if i have if i want to build something first i'll try to design it myself with the figma and then i'll try to implement that with the full stack uh, uh, skill which i have what made you go and click and take that free trial i mean you have what were the problems or what were the things you were not able to learn through udemy or through youtube the reason i took up cryo dot do the reason i uh, click on that clicked on that ad is like if i wanted to learn something myself i, I i'll be lacking with the guidance and the support uh, which i'll be having like i i wanted somebody to guide me through the process like if i wanted somebody to help me uh, if i pay, if i face any problem with the code or if i face any error in the program i wanted somebody to uh, help me in that process during, during that, that free trial uh, i never coded any project of that kind before so uh, during that one to hour session the tutor tutor made me uh, 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 create some uh, actions like create some uh, write some basic javascript code which runs uh, like uh, the, the facebook button the login uh, the login uh, credentials like now that you have given the free trial now you uh, have taken up the program for cryo how was that journey like like uh, i mean talking from the sprints to how many months or how much time it used to take for you on daily basis to actually uh, you know put in that work before joining i didn't know anything like hmm. i didn't know any uh, abcd of programming so after joining cryo.do uh, they started they started the journey with the basic uh, uh, javascript html uh, a sprint so how many live sessions or classes or uh, hours per day do you used to spend initially i used to spend a lot of time okay. like i used to spend like 5 hours every day okay uh, for the milestone i used to spend a lot of time mm mm-hmm. it used to take like it's it's very uh, like, uh, like standard operating procedure kind of thing for every milestone mm-hmm. i have to go through all that process by myself Mm-hmm. so uh, it was very challenging but uh, after completing uh, that milestone i felt very happy and uh, and uh, i thought myself like i'm coming closer to the success that's what i felt <laughs> when i felt challenging i used to always uh, take up uh, technical assistance from crowd or two they really helped me a lot you might have a lot of mentor sessions also throughout your sprints yes. how were they like how was your mentor experience all of the mentors uh, were really great like they were all impressive and uh, since they had real time experience working with the company 
they used to share uh, the details, the insights of their company and the working culture and how uh, the coding works behind the scenes in their companies. They used to give the insights and uh, make us prepare for the future. And what all projects or how many projects did you make in your cryo journey? Uh, 25 projects. Major projects were like 6 projects I guess. And every project which I made there was a, a clearly uh, instructions mentioned for every project in the every milestone. And I used to read them all, understand them all. And uh, I used to Google if I didn't understand. I used to take up technical assistance if I really didn't understand that milestone. And uh, those projects really helped me to understand uh, the basics of uh, the coding and the projects. Like since uh, uh, those projects were like real time projects, so mm -hmm. that gave me the best experience, I should say. Can you give example of one or two projects that you made? Uh, projects like uh, Qtrip Static. And they're all QCAT is an e-commerce uh, platform and Qtrip Static is a travel booking uh, uh, platform. How did the demo and all work out for you? Like, what was that feeling for you when you built it up and are you able to demo your uh, project and see that it's actually working? It's like a proper website or app that's fully functional. How was that feeling? When the first time I uh, hosted my website on uh, Versal or Net Netlify, it gave me dopamine rush. Like that's the first time, uh, that's the first time I ever did in my life. So that's uh, it felt really happy that, uh, and I became I became very confident that I could build a website from scratch and I, and I can host it myself on Netlify. I thought in future I'll be doing it all my own. Wow, nice. How long did it take for you to get your first interview equity? Uh, after one month, uh, that's that's the first thing. That that's the first time. I got an uh, interview with uh, Pune uh, company in the during the placement drive in Pune. So a uh, facing interview first time like like what I what I really felt is if you are confident if if you are if you are anybody who is uh, getting to be interviewed mm -hmm. uh, if you are confident in your foundation and if you are confident in the projects you have had it doesn't matter what type of questions uh, the interviewer asks because you can answer them all. So it really depends on the person to person. Two mock interviews with Cryo uh, uh, during uh, uh, October month uh, in 2024 last year. Mm -hmm. So mock interviews, uh, interviews help me understand where I stand, like where I'm lacking, and uh, which uh, part of, of which part of myself is lacking uh, uh, while getting a job. So uh, that really uh, helped me understand uh, the. The concept which I should learn so that I can ease up and get a job. Mm -hmm. So uh, the placement uh, uh, in charge Aishwarya was very great and very supportive uh, during this phase. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's great. He was one of my best users and mm -hmm. I was pretty much sure that if I'm giving him the chance, he will make it through. Mm -hmm. And uh, last day I, he called me and he told me Aishwarya, I need, really need a job. And it was pretty much hard because he is from a different background. Mm -hmm. So he needs an extra push. Yeah. So he just needed that one, one chance. Yeah. Through, yeah. Then I told him, okay, that is a walking drive. It's up to you. The decision is up to you, not forcing you. If you are interested, just come for the walking drive because he is from Hyderabad. It's, mm -hmm. It takes a lot of, you know, thoughts Efforts and all. Efforts to come there. back to Bangalore. And he and didn't there. even, you know, blink on it. He was like, I'm ready for it. Just give me two hours, I'll book the tickets, I'll confirm it with you. <laughs> and he, he came. So you and have to be opportunist also grab, to grab the yeah. opportunity. He was not hesitating. Like, you give me the chance. I'm ready to take it. Even if it is co uh, costing anything for me, mm -hmm. I'm ready to grab it. And he just came. He was the first person to reach office. <laughs> and he came, he called me, I should have been here. Then I went, I met him. And he was confident enough. It didn't took him time to, you know, prepare because he was preparing on a regular basis. Mm. So he was able to grab the grasp in any interview he attended on that day. He cleared everything. Wow. How many interviews that day? Uh, so he took three interviews. Uh, so yeah, two interviews for two companies. Okay. And uh, he was, you know, he came, he attended the interview, cleared one by one. He was very busy with interviews. <laughs> yes, he cleared everything. And I myself was surprised because I was concerned as mm. his POC, you know, whether I have taken the right decision or not. Mm. And he was ready to anything. Like he went for the interview. That day itself, we got to know that he cracked both interviews. Wow. 
Now that you cracked the interview, can you tell us about your current role and the company that you're working at? Uh, currently, I'm working as a UI UX developer in uh, uh, two part. It's a startup which helps e-commerce uh, uh, increase the sales conversion. Okay. So my role is to design the websites uh, in such a way that when a user uh, clicks on that website, we have to make him uh, buy some stuff. Mm. So that we have to do anything like from uh, the product, the imagery, like uh, the, the copy, copywriting of the website. Like that's my job currently, which I'm doing. The first reason is you will be getting uh, uh, an opportunity to learn by doing the projects. And second thing is, if you are if you got stuck somewhere, there's always somebody who tries to help you uh, whenever uh, you face challenges. And the third thing is. The projects which you do are very challenging and they're, they're all uh, real-time projects. So you'll be learning more stuff by joining Cryo than yourself. One piece of advice you would want to give to somebody who is in mechanical background right now and has given up hope. My, my advice for anybody from mechanical engineering is it doesn't really matter which background you really come from. You can learn anything. Your brain is empty and uh, you can learn anything uh, you want. So you can only do that by consistent, consistently practicing it, doing the projects, challenging yourself, and uh, having uh, being confident in all the foundation you learn from. And, uh, and one more thing is, you have to present it, you have to, uh, uh, you know, uh, you should be good at presenting yourself also. Did you see any difference in the curriculum, uh, the way it is structured or the kind of topics or the kind of projects? And if you saw, then what were the key points, uh, the key highlights of the, of the of those differences? Uh, the curriculum was great. It's very structured. Like anybody from any background can uh, uh, take that path and uh, they can become the full stack developer by the end. So uh, during this uh, path, like, uh, Cryo.do takes you through uh, the, the initial uh, project, like initial uh, uh, thing, which is very uh, easy. And then it takes up uh, you to the final uh, destination, which I should say. During this path, you will be having multiple uh, milestone projects, multiple uh, uh, challenging projects, and uh, uh, they're all very structured. And they, those projects are based on the uh, sprints which you do. So you will learn from the sprint classes and then you will take up uh, those projects as a challenge uh, which, which will like uh, uh, press your mind and they'll make you teach, they'll make you taught new things. So uh, that curriculum helped me uh, to understand everything. So you know there are two types of projects mainly. One was the micro experience wherein the mentor was giving you some debrief sessions as well like for example QCAT front end, right? So therein you were trying some things, but then immediately after the module uh, module style phase, you're also getting the debrief, the code walkthrough from the mentors end. But then there came the another phase, like for example, export, wherein you were just given some intro, hey, these, this is the Figma file, hey, these are the functional requirements. Now you go on and build it on yourself. We are not gonna give you any code walkthrough or something. This is your challenge. So how was your experience? Uh, during facing that challenge and that first build out? Yeah, building my building projects like you have mentioned uh, is very tough for me. Like mm -hmm. initial days, it was very tough for me. Like uh, I used to do, I used to understand uh, the concepts which I learned. If I couldn't do that projects, I used to uh, rewatch the videos of the sprint. Nice. Like I really wanted to understand it again and again until I, uh, I'm very confident on that. And after that, learning the concept from the previous videos, I try to take up those projects again. You know, there are some sprints at the end, which we call as INTV sprints, yes. which are mostly focused on interview prep. So therein, we are not teaching you any concept, any like fresh concept, but we are like kind of making you revise and going you, uh, taking you through the interview challenges. So I wanted to know how helpful were those sprints uh, in your interview experience? After learning the core concepts from the uh, sprints, like technical sprints, uh, it uh, like it's very difficult without, uh, it's very difficult to get a job without INTV sprints because 
we know all the concepts but we couldn't uh, uh, make them we, we couldn't answer the questions which interviewer asks us so indb sprint we just this gap and uh, it it helps how to format the sentence how to uh, def- how to uh, give the answer for any type of question which interviewer asks so uh, indb sprint help help me understand uh, uh, the, the the questions uh, the interviewer asks uh, uh, like the the way which i should present myself like from uh, uh, the point of inter- introducing myself to answering the technical questions everything was well structured and uh, it helped me uh, crack the interviews the question is uh, uh, about before enrolling for the program so uh, from sales team we always give a deadline stating that tomorrow you would be able to uh, join the batch and etc right so what was your thought uh, back then uh, a day before where who and all have you reached out for the feedbacks what was the feedback from your friends or your parents before the end of cryo group was like i really spent four to five days just researching on uh, the platform i i went out that the uh, reading blogs i went out to reddit blogs i went out to uh, uh, many in this coin it's something something i did and i i read the uh, youtube companies like uh, most of the most of the times i got positive feedback and uh, i remember part of the comment was like uh, uh, the guy from the tiny college somewhere in a remote village he got the job of a a tpa with the kind of course and that gave me confidence to take up this course because uh, for me for me uh, taking up getting a job off campus without kind of do is really difficult so i always wanted uh, uh, the assistance and the support from that of do and uh, uh, the comments and the uh, discussion which happened on the reddit forums it really helped me understand uh, how kind of the program works so what is the exact role of a sprint mentor for you during this course where sprint mentor uh, during the course of uh, uh, time so sprint mentor you should uh, help you understand the core concepts of that sprint uh, hmm. uh, technologies which which he used to make me learn so that's the role uh, hmm. the roles in my sprint mentor has hmm. and uh, uh, whenever i used to have doubts i used to ask him and uh, make make them clear to the by myself so what is that one thing that was driving you the most for these completions and everything first for you it was different for many it is very very different so what is that one thing that drives you the most to complete all these things be be at matlab like if there's something pending let's let me complete this thing right so what that drives you the most and how can we in cryo and give the same amount of things to the other folks that are actually facing these types of problems uh, the first thing i want to say is it's all about mindset in mean, okay so if any if anybody wants to do something uh, really good in the future they have to really work hard from now on so the future should uh, make them uh, like concentrate on the present and uh, complete everything on time so if they if they want to be successful in future they have to work hard right now so this is the only time uh, they grinding over and it's very short period of time but it really pays off in the future so that that really helped me uh, to complete all the tasks so i would suggest anybody in cryo or do do the same this is a highlight for us <laughs> being able to see users come in make those transitions to sort of be happy get your career set right really happy to see that one Congrats. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. I think there's a small token of appreciation from our end. Thank you so much Thanks for, for giving your valuable time to us. <laughs> Thanks for the time. Thanks Thank for the efforts as well, right? It, it takes two hands, right? Yes. yes. We are one part of the hand. Yes. Two are the other hand. So for us to make it work, make those transitions, right? For the hard work and uh, seeing the results, hopefully yeah. a lot of them will pay off. Yes, yes, it will. And I should say thank you for the all.